Hi everyone. So I'm. Um, I thought I'd pop on in just a really quick video because I'm making a journal. This is a Scottish journal that I'm making. You can see it's just really in the bare bones stage. Um, just now I've just basically made the cover, um, and I'm starting to put the pages together and things like that. But I've made this wee pocket now. You've maybe seen this before. I've actually I don't know how I've never thought about it before. Um, I was literally just putting these pockets together and I thought right I'm going to do a quick wee video so basically um, I'll show you how I'm making them it's just two um, six by six pages papers this kit that I'm using so I'm using a kit um, a Scotland kit it was sent to me by a lovely lady in America and I'm going to link it down below. I am going to do a full flip through of this journal when, journal, journal when it's finished. But um, she's got a YouTube channel called Skeletorama. And she's also got like a, an Etsy shop and things like that. So I'll link it down below guys. Obviously you can't see much of the kit here. Um, there's actually tons and tons and tons and tons of it. Um, you can see all these beautiful Scottish postcards and they're upside down but Scottish ephemera and things like that and she's also got like Irish ones, Welsh ones, all different things so I'll link that down below but as I said I'll go into more detail about that when I'm actually doing the flip through of the journal so what I basically wanted to show you is these pockets that I'm making so it honestly just happened there by accident so it basically gives you one deep pocket that you can put like your large tags or things in gives you another pocket but then on the page behind it gives you this other pocket Okay, so all you basically need, I'm using this Stampin' Up! Plaid um, paper pack just because it's got some nice tartans and stuff in it. Well, it looks like tartan. So I'll show you quickly <coughs> what I'm doing. So let's go with the green. So you just basically need two of the same. same as that yeah so two of the same six by six papers you could obviously do it with any size um but this is the size that i need now first of all what i need to do so let's pick my page i'm going to put one in this last signature um We'll go here on this blank page. So I want to figure out what size I want my pockets, like widthwise. So I'm going to take it to the end of this green strip here. Now, if you cut them together, it means that you're going to have the right size. So just shush. Sorry, guys. Right, so I'm just going to go to the end green like that. There's only basically one cut just because of the size of my journal page. Mm, I still might need a wee bit more of that actually. Just because by the time you shut the page it'll stick out. And I don't want that. Let's just take a wee bit more off. Like that. Okay, so that's fine. And then, yeah, that's a better size. Right, then, all we need to do, put them together, take a hole punch. This is just a one inch circle hole punch. This bit isn't necessary if you didn't want to do this, but I like to um, put one and then on one of the ends, we just pull it down and line it up. And on the opposite end, one as well. Okay, and that is basically it. So you end up with one that's got a half circle and one that's got two, so it's got a large ticket shape. Then I put on my first one. So the one that's only got the one um punch out that goes on first, and you're just gluing it on three edges, so just effectively making a large pocket. And these are good because you can make really good substantial um, tags or you can put in like a large 
A4 piece of paper just folded up that you want to use for the extra journal and space. So that's your first one. Second one, you just take it and you're basically figuring out where about you want it. And I would say I want mine, yeah, lining up about there. Okay. So then you just lift your page. You see, that's just my page. And I roughly just get a wee nip where I want it. And then fold it over in half. So that's what you end up with. So you've got your folded bit in the back, which is going to form the pocket on the other side in this pocket. As I said, it's the easiest thing ever. I just, I literally, I went to cut it off. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I picked a bad day to do a video, I think. We're actually getting Kane's um, bedroom all done for him, so yeah, that's what you can hear. Right, okay, so basically I've just put the glue up the two sides and then put one line of glue along the seam and then just turn it to the side, take your page, pop it over the bottom, line it up with your paper and then just secure it down like so. Oh, a bit of glue. Make sure it's all stuck. Turn it over and just make sure your pages are stuck on that side. Uh, your edges are stuck on that side as well. So essentially what that gives you is a double pocket here. So you've got a deep pocket and you've got another pocket. You can put like your journaling cards and things in. It's not stuck yet. And then you've got another pocket here. So yeah, I just I just thought that was really cool that I would nip on and show you guys. Um, as I said, you've maybe seen it, it's just the first time that I came across it and I thought that's cool. Rather than cutting it off at the bottom, doubling it over and making another pocket. This one, this was the first one that I'd done um, and you can see that... Oh, did I make that one into a pocket or did I decide just to... So that one was two pockets. I thought I made... Oh no, I think the first one... I just folded it over and that's where yeah so look first one I just folded over basically I'm going to put the title of the book here and that's when it came to me so it wasn't that one it was I did do another one somewhere that's the one we've just done where's the other wee one there it is so see that's the other one because the first one that I done I thought right I'll bend it over and do the banner for the book for the title then we've got this one here and that's what it looks like when it dries see you've got the double pocket and then obviously you can decorate the front but yeah just a really quick wee idea guys to let you see just some of the, the thought process that goes into the journals but yeah let me know what you think talk to me in the comments and i'll see you all again soon bye bye